Hello everyone, my name is Brimwalker and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get these portal blocks. A lot of the methods have been patched but two of them still work and I'm going to be going through both of them in this tutorial. Now before I say more information about this I think I should just let you know that both of these methods use external programs and can only be done on PC to my knowledge. First method uses a utility mod or injector client to give yourself the portal blocks that way, and the second method uses an MBT editor to add items to your inventory through that external program. So what are portal blocks to begin with? You place a portal block and it places a portal like that and you can actually use it to go into the nether and back out again because it creates a portal on the other side like that. However, they don't work backwards like other portals do. When you go back through the portal that you created in the nether by placing this or vice versa, it will create another portal here that is a full portal, so it could be used to harvest infinite obsidian if you would like to. They do have another use where if you go into the end, you can place a nether portal tile in the end and then walk through it and it'll take you back into the overworld. However, it can be quite glitchy as you can see, for some reason everywhere around me is not generating and I know exactly why. It is because if I go here and I turn on show coordinates, sometimes it does like to glitch you to the highest Y level you can physically go in Minecraft, which is 32,000 uh, roughly. And yeah, this is absolutely hilarious. To fix this, all you've got to do is log out of your world and then log back in. And as you can see, I've returned to the ground. I also have a video on how to get end portal tiles if you're interested. A link to that video will be in the iCard in the top right corner now. Of course, portal blocks aren't just used for technical purposes, they can be used for decoration. So things like this corrupted portal and whatnot, you can make things like this if you would like to. Portal blocks cannot be placed next to each other. If you try and place a portal block next to another portal block, it will just disappear. Not 100% sure why this is. Anyway, that's all the information you need to know. Let's get on with the tutorials. Before I get on with this tutorial, I just want to say I do not condone hacking in any way. I'm quite simply just doing this tutorial to bring to light the things that you can do to get these items for people who need them, maybe in creative worlds or survival worlds where this kind of thing is allowed. Now, method one is using a bedrock utility mod, such as Horion or Wave or anything like that. Now, this might not be the go-to option for a lot of people, but I do just want to say that it does work. So if you type give portal and then the number, you do actually get the portal blocks this way. Obviously, do be careful when downloading utility clients as not all of them are legit. One of the members on my server called Mr. Saturday is currently working on a utility client that will be able to do things like this. However, it's not out yet and I will link to their channel as soon as it is because it looks absolutely amazing. But yeah, if you're looking for one that doesn't give you a virus, I do recommend and Horion, it doesn't flag the virus, it doesn't have any bloatware to my knowledge, and yeah, it works well. Obviously, just remember that if you're doing this on servers, I do not recommend using things like Orion or any other bedrock utility client, as the server owner may not allow it, of course, unless it is an anarchy server, in which case, go nuts. Anyway, on to the next method. The next method I'm going to be showing you uses what is called an MBT editor. For this, I'm going to be using an MBT editor called MCC Tool Chest. If you want to download this, it can be downloaded in the description of this video, and just know that this method only works on PC. So to begin, what you want to do is click on that little folder icon and then click on the world that you want to add the portal locks to. Next, what you want to do is click on the plus icon next to players and then click on local player. Then what you want to do is click on this little chest icon here and this will allow you to see into your inventory through the external program. Then what you want to do is just type portal into the search bar up here and then you can drag and drop nether portals into your inventory like so. You can of course do the same with end portals and end gateways and whatnot as well if you would like to with this method. Once you're done just press OK and then what you want to do is just hit file, save and then close MCC tool chest and then open Minecraft. 
Once you have Minecraft open, just go onto your world like so. And now look at that. We have got end portals, end gateways, and more portal blocks in our inventory. Now there are MBT editors for Minecraft Pocket Edition, however, I'm not a hundred percent sure what they are. So what I recommend doing is joining some technical Minecraft Discord servers and finding out some good MBT editors for Minecraft Pocket Edition through other people who know more than me. As of 1.19, there are only two methods to get this portal block. Neither of these methods are ideal as they both use external programs, but as these are the only methods at the moment, I thought I'd showcase them anyway. Whether you consider this vanilla or not is your opinion, but I would definitely ask your server moderators or, you know, members on your server to see if you should do this before you actually do it. So yeah, that is both methods of how to get a nether portal block in Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.19.10. Neither of them are ideal, but they do still work. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy them, please do hit the like button down below. And if you really loved it and haven't already, then do consider subscribing. It really does help me out a lot more than you might think. But yeah, that's gonna do it. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now, bye.